I'm just disappointed that out of those 149 hours, only 9 hours were spent on this like super vital part of the hacking landscape today. I feel like they could have done better. I did it. I reached the end of the EJBT penetration testing student course after four long months of study, hard work, sleepless nights, sickness, life getting in the way. I finally did it. I finally got to the end. I'm so happy that I did the course. So if you're meeting me for the first time, my name's Jerry. I've been studying to become a hacker, to become a penetration tester using EJPT course material. And I'm very close to sitting my exam. This video was meant to come out three weeks ago, but I got sick, my whole family got sick, and we were sick for three weeks. And so I couldn't talk and I couldn't make a video. I'm actually about a week out from sitting my exam this weekend. And I know that I said, actually hoping to sit the exam sometime in March, but it's now April. So this will be the actual last video for this course before I sit my exam. The final module that I looked at, which was about three weeks ago, uh, was the web application testing module. It was kind of a basic introduction to web hacking. So I'm gonna break down what it covered, the things that I didn't like about the course and the things that I really enjoyed about the course. So let's dive in. The three areas this module covers. Uh, the first one is web and HTTP basics. So going over the basics of how the web works, how HTTP works, uh, and understanding how the internet and your computer and other computers communicate to each other over the web. The second thing we went over was basics of enumeration and the third thing was attacks. Overall, the course was pretty brief and to the point. It got into the material pretty quickly. There wasn't much preamble. If you've never looked at web before, then it might be a little bit of a challenge. I know that if I had looked at this course about a year ago when I first started being interested in hacking and, and all of this stuff, I think I would have been a little bit lost trying to understand how the web works and how HTTP works and how computers communicate and all of that stuff. But with a little bit of research, I think you would be able to get up to speed. When we looked at enumeration, we used tools like Burp Suite, Zap, Nikto, and GoBuster. And those things kind of like help us to understand what's happening at more of a backend perspective of a web application. So we use Burp Suite as a proxy and a Zap as a proxy to understand how the requests and responses are going between our client and the web server. We use things like GoBuster to enumerate the different directories or subdomains and other things that we may be able to discover. And Nikto is a, is a great, powerful vulnerability scanner that we can use that we don't really cover that much in the course, but we get a little bit of dabbling. And the last part of the module covers the fun stuff attacking web applications. In this part, we go over kind of stringing some tools together. So using Burp and SQL map uh, and putting them together to be able to deliver an attack against a web application. Uh, so that may look like using Burp to be able to intercept requests and responses. And the course mainly focuses on SQL injection and cross-site scripting at a 10,000 foot view. And that's what INE has noted as what's gonna be assessed within the exam. And this kind of leads me to what I didn't like, my critique of this module and kind of of the whole course. And I do mean the whole course. So this course and certification is advertised as the entry level certification you need to get as a junior penetration tester. It's in the name, it's, it's in the course title, penetration testing student. It's like the bare minimum. So keep that in mind as we also think about the market value of penetration testers. Most companies have a network. Most companies will want that network tested to see if there's any vulnerabilities and, and so on. And most companies also have web applications, things that kind of open their network to exploitation. The short of it is web is everywhere. Everyone uses the web. Everyone makes web applications. Everything is on the web. Welcome to the internet. So if we marry that with the idea that this certification's a kind of like the basics of everything you kind of need to know to be able to step into a junior role. Then it starts to kind of make me question the basic nature of this module, I guess. Um, a lot of people that I've talked to and heard online and in person have all kind of hinted at learn web application testing 
that's an important part of being a junior penetration tester. Understand how burp works, understand the OWASP top 10, just understand the web and that will take you very far as a junior. So coming into this, my expectation maybe of the course was maybe the split will be 50-50. Like we'll do network penetration testing, about 50%, 50% web, app web application testing. 60-40, no. 70-30, maybe. 30% web application testing, no. Okay, so the reality is the course, this module is only nine hours. How long is the rest of the course? 149 hours. So. Out of that 149 hours, you only get nine hours worth of content to be able to learn web application testing. Now, gr granted, this is not a full web application testing course. There's other ones that IED offers, but for a junior, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more. I did a bit of math on this and I realized that nine hours out of 149 hours is 6%. So only 6% of the whole course were actually focusing on web apps. I think that's a bit disappointing. I'm a little bit disappointing. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm just disappointed that out of 149 hours that a lot of it was spent kind of repeating the same things, which is not bad, but there was a lot that could have just been done maybe in two modules instead of four. Out of those 149 hours, only nine hours were spent on this like super vital part of the hacking landscape today. I feel like they could have done better. I feel like they could have given a bit more screen time, more air time to web hacking. And I'm just disappointed. Granted, the course is actually pretty good. I like the module, but it just made me want to have more and I wanted to learn more. I feel like you barely scratched the surface in those nine hours. And maybe, maybe the creators felt like the course was long enough or I think it was long enough. I'm advocating more towards cutting some of the other content out and replacing it with more web application focused hacking stuff. Having more of a focus on web would have really rounded out the whole course in a really nice way. So if you've done the course, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, whether you think that I &E should have spent a little bit more time on web uh, or if you think I'm just an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about and stay in your lane. Let me know. So for all of this though, after all the negative stuff that I've said, I would say that this was a really good introduction. It introduces you to kind of like the core technologies and tools that you will use like Burp and GoBuster um, and that kind of thing. And it doesn't overwhelm you. As I said before, the people that I've talked to uh, swear by Burp Suite or Zap and they say go out and learn and understand how these proxies work and use them and I think that that has a really great benefit. I think also the fact that they look at Zap that's not as well advertised, I think that's a really good bonus point on INE's part. I also enjoyed that we used automated tools like Nikto and SQL Map and SQL Map and XSSR. Those things I think are really great starting points to start testing web applications to play around and I think the course actually did a really good thing with giving you exposure to some of the vulnerable web apps that you can download, like BWAP, 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 I think that's the right one, to then go and play around with in your spare time. So overall, I feel like this is a thumbs up for this module. Anyways, thanks for watching till the end. I really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey and I hope to see you very soon once I've passed my exam in the next one. Have a great week. <laughs>